All right, here with head women's basketball coach Michelle Bento Jackson. Coach, really successful week at home. Uh, this past week, two wins. Uh, how, how does that make you feel? Yeah, the girls just did a tremendous job both games. Um, even though on Thursday night, you know, we gave up a big lead, and I didn't think we necessarily managed the clock real well down the stretch, which was which was also definitely uh, partially on me, and we had a conversation about it. And then moving into Saturday night, uh, I thought we did a tremendous job of, of really managing the clock, getting a great shot selection down the stretch, and uh, just really proud of them responding in such a quick, a quick turnaround and in a very similar situation. So obviously we're very pleased to, to pick up the two wins at home. How nice is it to see your team be able to adjust like that in such a quick turn, turnaround there? Yeah, it was. We had a good uh, film session in between the two games. Like I said, we had a conversation on just things that we could learn from Thursday night's game. And um, and obviously, as a coach, you, you know you want to always see quick turn. I mean, excuse me, quick results. And I thought they did that. Most importantly, just learning from the situations. There are so many learning points in that Thursday game, and um, I, I thought we were really, really receptive to taking in the the criticism and the learning tool or the learning tips. And uh, like I said, we put that into action on Saturday night. And just with three more weeks of conference play <coughs> remaining, kind of contrasting to where we were in like October, how has your view of the team kind of shifted in, in that time span? Yeah, I definitely think we've made a lot of progress. Um, you know, I was saying just in, for example, the East Bay game, we were drastically different than the first time we played them. And we didn't play very well the first time we played them, but just in general, I think on both ends of the floor, to be honest, uh, I just think we progressed in, in many, many areas. And I probably was most proud on, on Saturday night of, of two things. One, we execute, executed our game plan to the T um, on the defensive end. And then, like I said, just managing the clock. So that shows growth is my point. That shows growth where we weren't really picking up these things earlier in the year. So uh, again, the word that just comes to my mind is, is progress, which obviously that's what we want. As we always say, we got to be playing our best basketball in February. So hopefully we can continue playing in March. Amelia Long had an amazing game Saturday and now in the CC2A, she's second in assists kind of been holding that spot up top just if you could speak kind of on her and her development this season yeah uh, obviously when she first joined our team you know she hadn't picked up a basketball in quite some time uh you know just transitioning from the soccer field to the basketball court and and not just her but I think it took some time for our team as a whole collectively to really get used to each other um, you know, chemistry on the floor is important as well, and just getting used to to Millie's game. Millie's get Millie getting used to just our philosophies, what we teach, how we teach, getting acclimated to our style of play. So I, I think that has definitely played a part as well, as far as just uh, the progression that we have made. Um, and, and obviously Millie and, and her teammates. You know, I'm just I'm just really happy with where we are right now as a team, and we have to continue to, as I say, keep our foot on the gas pedal, and we got to continue moving forward. Coach, you uh, mentioned keeping your foot on the gas pedal. One thing uh, this season is you've been outstanding at home, one loss at home, and the road record isn't, I assume, what you would want it to be. But now we're hitting the road for two weeks here towards the end of conference play. What is something that you are trying to get through to your team this week in practice to lead on to these next two road trips? Right, and you're absolutely uh, correct as far as – our record, yes, um, but also just even earlier in the season, how we were playing on the road was drastically different. And our last road trip in Dominguez Hills and Cal State LA, no, we did not come up with the wins. Um, obviously, that's what we wanted to, but we were a different team in a good way. Um, I, I thought we executed on the defensive end. We just had much better energy, and certainly we've had a lot of conversations on just we, we can't be one team at home and one team on the road. It requires a whole different level of toughness to, to be successful on the road, and I think we, we figured that out, so to speak, on our last road trip, and we have to build upon that. And <laughs> I'll be saying this for the next three weeks. Every game right now is just so huge. Um, and so with the next four being on the road, we just have to we have to grow up and we have to be a more mature basketball team uh, starting this week than we were, say, three weeks ago. Yeah, last time you guys played Sanborn, you won 49 to 48. What's something you're working on this week so that you know, you're not getting this close of a win, trying, trying to kind of widen that gap? 
Well, obviously that game wasn't a very good offensive display by either team. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the score was in the 40s. Um, and so maybe that was credit to both of our defenses. I don't know. But it was, certainly wasn't a, a great night for us on the offensive end. So both teams are, are different. It's, we're not the only ones that have progressed. You know, San Bernardino is, is a better team today than they were a month ago as well. And so it's always about adjustments. Uh, you know, what is their coaching staff going to put together? What are we going to put together um, as far as the game plan going into Thursday night? And we certainly have a plan, and it's about executing it. But we're going to, like I said, have to just show a, a lot, a lot of toughness uh, on Thursday night in, in their arena. And, and hopefully we put ourselves in position we can come out with a win. How much of a priority is limiting turnovers right now, just giving you guys the, those extra offensive looks? I mean, obviously you guys are doing okay even with – a high number of turnovers, but how much of a priority is that right now? Yeah, we have been a high turnover team, um, and obviously that's not something that, that we're, we're happy about. And it's been a combination of different things, but we, we certainly have to value the ball and take care of the ball. There's been a lot of unforced turnovers that, that we are certainly responsible for. So, um, you know, just showing film and learning, having conversations on, you know, when – when to not have our foot on the gas pedal, so to speak, and, and really just settle down into our offense and, and get a better look. So um, certainly that's something that's a priority to us. We haven't necessarily done a great job in that area. We've been kind of up and down, in my opinion, in that area. But as we go down the stretch here, in particular on the road, we're, we're going to have to take care of the ball to have success. And outside of those turnovers, how nice is it, even since the beginning of conference play, to kind of see your guys' offense develop? Yeah, our offense has developed, and I think we're getting more and more out of our transition game now, which which goes back to defense. You know, obviously the more defensive stops you get, you give yourself more opportunities to score and transition on the offensive end. And I think that's something these last two games in particular at home uh, that we really capitalized on was our defensive stops giving us transition opportunities. And that's something we emphasize, and um, we were able to do that this last weekend, so hopefully we can continue. And Amelia and Kenya both very – elusive players in a uh, fast break situations just it just seems like a huge strength for you guys to be able to go out and transition how do you kind of balance that without wanting to go too fast like you kind of mentioned in the second half on Thursday right where you find yourselves in some trouble yeah well and that was a perfect game because you know early in that game I was saying how it was a very fast-paced game by both teams and I, I thought at that point that it was advantageous for us however the learning point to that was now we're in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. We don't have to be going 100 miles an hour when we have whatever it was of a lead. We have to play a little bit smarter. And so understanding when it's appropriate to, to, to really push the tempo and, and when to pull back a little bit. And pulling back does not mean not aggressive. Pulling back does not mean play conservatively. And so that's obviously something that... I've been expressing to to the team, but obviously the ball's in Millie and, and Kenya's hands a lot. So, and I, and I think they really have a good understanding of that. All right. Good luck this week, Coach. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You.